Good morning, everybody. It is almost 11 o'clock in the morning, but whatever, it is still morning and all of my animals are overly active for this hour in the morning. We're taking this back today. Uh, this is the second time, so I thought I'd do another video on this to uh, just show you guys the, the process again. So this is the old microwave and there will probably be a wonky transition because I'll probably do stuff in between, but... Okay, we're back from the microwave store. I went in, explained the situation, they took the old one, no problem at all. He took me around to all the microwaves, which was not many. There was like five in my price range of what I was looking for. I had a look, he measured them, and he said, oh, this one's like a tiny little bit bigger, it's fine. You know, it, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, I'm like, yep, cool. I, I didn't have the proper measurements, but I was going like, you know, the other one that I had fitted in like a little bit of gap, you know, and he's like, oh yeah, it's just like a tiny little bit bigger. I'm like, cool get home the box was incredibly heavy compared to the other microwave so there's something like extra in this microwave uh line it up in the kitchen i was about to get it out of the box i've taken the foam off i've had a look and i'm like i'm going to measure it just just in case i'm going to measure it it's eight centimeters bigger than it needs to be you guys saw at the beginning of the video there is like a little frame hole in the cupboard that we got specifically made when we upgraded our oven from a double oven to a single so the top we thought perfect for microwaves and it's a very specific measurement. Microwaves are very limited on their measurements. And this one does not fit. I am over microwave shopping. It is annoying. There is no microwaves in my price range for what I need in this size. Thankfully, the dude at the store is understanding. The boss man is understanding and they're happy to have me bring it back. And they're going to give me a full refund on it. But holy fuck, this has been a journey and a half not only that now i'm in the, in the market for another microwave at a different store i'm thinking and i literally need like the base minimum of a microwave it doesn't need to be fancy it doesn't need to cook a roast it needs to heat my heat packs up which are made out of wheat it needs to maybe heat a coffee up every now and then it needs to cook a mug cake at 2 a.m when i want to eat something and maybe defrost some meat if we're really desperate that's literally all i use it for so i don't want to spend 300 dollars Anyway, so yeah, we're doing that. So next week there'll be a new video on the uh, microwave adventures and whether or not we find a new one and figure it out and all that good stuff. But until then, um, the whole fan thing working while the door opens, not a normal thing. So they're, they're happy to take that one back. So if you guys have a microwave like that, it's apparently not a normal thing. I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. The microwave adventure continues. So I, after the last video where I couldn't put the microwave in because it's too big, I'm taking it back next week. That's all fine. I put the old one back in because the old one was still working, but the button was a little sticky and it, it didn't heat up as well as it used to. It was old. It was one, it was one down, it run down. So uh, we, were, we were replacing it, but I thought it's still working. It's been sitting in the, the other room on the ground. It's fine. I'll put it back in and we're good to go. At least good to go until we... Uh, you know get a replacement again so I put it back up in the thing plugged it in I put a heat pack in there I thought cool that's a good testing item type thing you know turned it on that's all fine I came back in here in here into my computer like my room and it's in the kitchen behind that wall there um that, that's all fine my mum goes is something burning I'm going maybe I don't know I walk into the kitchen and update we used the old microwave and it's smoking and I don't know if it caught fire, so fucking fun! <laughs> So um, I thought it had caught fire. I wasn't sure there was a lot of smoke. I was kind of like, holy fuck, what do I do? Because I've never experienced this before. So it was like, a, there's something not right here. Uh, I ran in to have a look and there was like smoke coming out the top and the bottom and the sides of like where the microwave hole is. Um, silly me. I probably should have covered my mouth beforehand because I've got a very sore throat now. But um, I went in and I unplugged it. The plug was very hot. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with the old one, but it's out the front now. But we'll get to that um i unplugged it i told my mum to open the door i opened the back door i turned the exhaust fan on so that way we could like start getting this smoke out i'm like trying to scare all the animals away like into other rooms away from the smoke and they're like what's going on i'm like get away um i opened it to see if like that was the problem and there was no smoke inside and the heat pack that was inside did not even like heat up at all so it never even cooked so it, it didn't it didn't cook the microwave didn't microwave it like microwave backwards on the outside 
um i because it's a heavy little microwave i wasn't able to like get it out from where it was and it was very hot um i went outside and my two doors down neighbor had just got home and i'm like running down it's it we've had rain so i'm running down over the grass in socks going hey and i've got like a mask on and a little fan like trying to keep the you know air clean around my face um i'm like hey you know um I, the microwave is smoking i don't know if it's on fire or not are you able to help me get it down it's very heavy it's up high i can't get it he's like yeah yeah sure i'll, I'll come down in a minute i'll put the bins away so it came down he had a look and he goes oh shit he goes you probably should have told me that it's smoking really badly and i would have come straight away <laughs> he got it down thankfully he almost burned his hands because that's how hot it was on the side we put it out the front it's on the side there's no signs of it having actual problems all right so very very thankfully it didn't actually burn but you can see the like the mark where the Alrighty, so I never really officially got to finish the video previously to this about the uh, microwave fire, almost fire, attempted fire thing. Um, I kind of finished the video and it kind of cut me off and I just posted it because I was busy doing everything else. So to recap, the uh, microwave itself inside did not cook when I put the heat pack in it. But the outside or the internals or whatever motory part of the microwave seems to have smoked or something happened and it was the part that was smoking. It was also the part that was overheating. So yeah, it was some sort of malfunction in it. I don't know what, but it's a little scary. And I don't know if it's because it kind of got like tipped and stuff after so many years of sitting still. I don't know. It doesn't look like there was any problems or ventilation problems because it's been sitting exactly the way it was sitting for so long. I am very thankful to my neighbor up the road. He's like two houses up and uh, he had gotten home at just the right time and I'm running up. We were talking to him afterwards and he's like, you didn't look like you were panicking. You should have told me you were panicking and there was a problem. And I'm sitting there thinking, I was like on the verge of panic. How was it looking like I wasn't panicking? But at the same time, I wasn't really, it was like adrenaline more than panic. I go into a supermarket, it's panic. I have a fire in my house, almost, almost. It's like an attempted fire. The microwave attempted to start fires. But I, I have that fire and that's adrenaline and like I can do stuff. But supermarket, fuck that. Anyway, that's kind of funny. I've been thinking about that. He's like, y you should have told me you were panicking. It's like, dude. I run up here in socks to ask you to help me with the smoke. That's panic. Anyway, we finally got the smoke out of the house. Um, there's still like the residual like smell of the smoke, mainly in the kitchen. I don't know how that's going to get rid of. I'll probably do a bit of a deep clean at some point this week to see if we can get rid of that. Um, nothing else got damaged, thankfully. All of the cats are fine. One of the cats has got like breathing problems in her older age. She's fine. Uh, I've got burning eyes like my eyes are still like really sore right now and my throat's a little bit sore but otherwise uh i'm fine my mom's fine we're all doing fine the other neighbor's like why didn't you call me it's like dudes we kind of you know we're self-sufficient to an extent if we can do it ourselves we will i just i couldn't get the microwave down from that height with it being scary like that anyway so tomorrow i'm going to take the original one back the boxed one back sorry and i'm going to look for just a cheap ass one i'm going to plug it in on the bench first to make sure it works it doesn't blow up and then i'm going to put it up there once it's so sorted this microwave adventure has been long and tiring and stressful and i just want it to be over so i will give you guys an update if anything comes of that anyway thanks bye me again Alrighty, so the microwave situation hopefully is coming to a conclusion Firstly, uh, my house still stinks. We just opened the door after getting back and you can smell the smell. Secondly, uh, let's have a look at the microwave that I purchased. It's so tiny compared to all the others. But I am hoping, very, very hoping that this is the one that is the one. Um, apparently it is old school. You press the button, it stops the microwave and opens the door. It's still got the 30 second start button feature that I use quite often and it's silver and small. So transition to it, looking in, in the house. All right, the test is on the floor because I'm paranoid. If I put it up there, I won't be able to get it down if it catches fire again. All right, heat pack, brand new heat pack that I've made. Just normal wheat with a cotton-ish cover. The uh, vents on the side are open. 
All right, let's give it a 30 seconds. So where was this button here? It's spinning. All right, I'll check back in a minute. All right, the final countdown. Is it gonna stop? And you open it and it's quiet. And it did heat up the heat pack and it didn't blow up the house. We have success. Alrighty, and it's up and it's in the little thing. It's small, probably better though, because that way it's got like vent air spots. Let's turn it on. heated up and it didn't cause a fire excellent okay so the microwave works it hasn't blown up yet i'm still going to be very very paranoid for a while uh probably watching it like a hawk if uh, i use the microwave but i'm thankful that it is uh resolved that microwave i paid cash for 189 and the dude gave me a discount down to 159 so i'm very happy about that the other microwave was like 280 something completely unnecessary but it is done now. I also uh, took the other one back and the manager guy goes, you're stalking me. You've been here like five times this week. I'm like, yeah, microwave problems, dude, again. So he came and got the other microwave. He goes, but you look pretty strong. You can do it. I'm like, it's very heavy. And then he almost dropped it getting out of the car. He goes, I see what you mean. Anyway, that concludes the microwave drama. If there's anything more, I'll let you know. Bye.